temperatures below zero. A snowstorm in southeastern Saskatchewan. This probably wasn't the weather the two bears at the Saskatoon Forestry Farm Park in Sioux were hoping for. The grizzlies woke up from their torpor or winter rest a couple of weeks ago, but Sioux manager Jeff Mitchell says they likely don't mind the cooler weather. And if it got a little warm, they'd actually come out and stick their head out a little bit. Our guys, though, they really, once they fall asleep, they're very, very happy being asleep. Mitchell says the two grizzlies lost more than 100 pounds each during their five-month slumber. Now it's time for Koda and Mistea to slowly start gaining some weight again. But sharing is not always easy. Oh, oh! And that's just bears being bears and getting a little bit out of each other and just trying to show who, whose box is whose. The two grizzlies in Saskatoon aren't the only bears in the province getting up after winter. Black bears are quite common in Saskatchewan, especially up north. U of S biologist Philip McLaughlin says May is your best bet to see them moving about. Especially the males, those tend to start to wander more right around this time of year. But most of the bears are up uh, starting now. The males first and then followed by the females and their cubs. Back at the Saskatoon Sioux, other animals are also waking up to a chilly spring. The black-tailed prairie dogs were spending their winter down in their burrows. Now they're busy digging again. As for the dingoes, they're awake year-round, but still, we checked in to see how they are feeling about their fellow Sioux animals starting to wake up. What's your comment on the situation? Yeah, I wouldn't say. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Teresa Kleem, CBC News, Saskatoon.